this product MAC because it gives your hair like a nice beachy style so I just spray that along the top and the roots. Then I go on with Anastasia Beverly Hills with my, my naked brush and basically what I do is I just shape my eyebrows. I usually leave my eyebrows on so I'm just going around the edges and making just cleaning them up and stuff. Work it girl, work it, mmm, nice. You didn't see, I didn't like show the product, but I'm using um, MAC, the Illuminizer Primer, and it's so nice. It just gives like an extra glow to your skin for like a really natural kind of look. So I just go around with that before I put on my foundation. Now I'm using my pore pore cream, and I just kind of put that before I put on anything on my lips, just because I like to keep them smooth and nice and soft. Right, this is my favourite product and it's really cheap and affordable, you get it from your pharmacy and whatever, and I love it, it's LA Girl Concealer, and I just use it on my lids and around my eyebrows just to give that extra glow. So I'm just using like a cheap brush from the warehouse I'm pretty sure, but yeah, so I'm just blending that in and making it look nice and pretty. <laughs> Just a little disclaimer, my hair looks really bad. I don't know what happened, but I look like I just came out of a tornado. Oh look, I put it back. Fantastic. The next product I'm using, and it's a new foundation I've just brought, is the MAC Studio Fix Fluid SPF in the colour NC25. And I love this colour because I tan, I have to always get a different foundation. And I've just changed to this one and I absolutely love it. It looks a bit cakey but I kind of blend it out and stuff and make it look quite natural. The brush I'm using is the flat brush and it's um, F5 angled flat Jaboki brush. And it's um, just the cheap brand called Simply Essential and I love it. It blends out so well. I like to start at the bottom of my face blending down my neck so that it's not kind of like the defined line that I am actually wearing tan so it's kind of like more natural and so then I work my way up right up to the forehead and I kind of just make it blendable as much as possible and I will put eventually put on some setting powder. <laughs> concealer I don't know what I'm doing there but get it get it get it so basically what I do with this is I just start under eyes because I've got quite big you know black circles under my eyes and I kind of just blend it out with my thin Lizzy sponge I put a bit of water on it so then it's nice and you know it doesn't like have that kind of grainy kind of look to it so then I do my top of my forehead, my nose, and under my, just where my chin is, just on the jawline, not that I have a jawline, <laughs> but I just rub it in and stuff and blend it out so then you don't have like kind of like a flat face, you've got that kind of different kind of colours to it. And then I go in with my bronzer by The Balm, the Mary Lou bronzer, and I just kind of blend it out. I'm not going all out today because I'm working and kind of sweat it off anyway because the malls are very very hard to, so I'm kind of just you know making me a bit more tanner in the face and stuff because I'm quite white at the moment so yeah story time so I actually lost my MAC highlighter but I'm so I'm using my scrap old MAC highlighter which is the rainbow one there's like no product left so I'm really trying to scrape at the bottom of it 
So I usually just put that on my nose, um, on my cupid's bow and the arch on my eyebrows. So here I'm using my Morphe 350 palette in Shimmer and I'm currently using them as my highlighters as well. So I'm just going in with the pink kind of beige colour. And I'm kind of like blending it into my nose because Morphe is quite difficult to blend with on my face personally. So I'm just going back in with my Cupid's bow, bow the bridge of my nose and the top of my cheekbone. across my face. Now I'm going in with the MAC mascara and I just do that on my bottom lash and since I've got eyelash extensions my eyelash extensions are Russian volume so I can't really use mascara on them and I won't need them. So yeah I'm just going back over them making sure they're nice and voluminous. To finish off my work makeup I like to make sure my hair is not fluffy because my hair is literally like an afro usually. So I basically just do the roots because that when I sleep on them, they go all fluffy and stuff. And so yeah, that's my work makeup look. I hope you enjoyed it. So this is my morning and night routine. I kind of stick to the same thing because my skin is really sensitive and I don't want to use other products. So first of all, I'm just washing my face, making sure that all my makeup from the other night or last night is all washed off. And then I'm going in with St. Ives, the apricot exfoliator. And I'm just kind of spreading that along my skin, on my forehead, on my nose, because on my nose I've got a lot of pimples. So I'm just rubbing that in and making really weird faces. Look at me go. And so then I'm just washing it off and getting the towel and making sure all of that is off. So now I'm going in with my eyelash and eyebrow cleanser. And that's basically just to make sure all the product is off my lashes and my eyebrows. Now I'm going in with my Nivea makeup remover and that's just to get all the excess makeup off from the previous night. This is my all time favourite moisturiser, it's Olay and it's really soothing and it's great for sensitive skin and if you're really sensitive to you know, other products, it's very good and it makes your skin really like hydrated and everything. So that is my morning and night routine. I hope you guys enjoyed my get ready with me before work, me and Louie dancing, afternoon kind of stuff, my night routine kind of. But yeah, I'll see you with a next video. Remember to like and subscribe and keep updated with the videos I come out with. Bye!